tonight on Channel 7 News. Hank Arbuckle. Bill Bellman. The men who find the news and bring it to you. Covering all the stories. Making sure everything is top shape for you. This is Channel 7 News. Local housewoman Carol K. Musinski arrested. We talked to a local man about the economy. Your cameraman looking at my leg? A local boy gets to show us his special trick with gravity. We talked to a special young boy about a school grant. This is Channel 7 News. Hi, I'm Hank Arbuckle. And I'm Bill Bellman. And we now go live via satellite with Daryl and Keith Finney. To their home in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Boys, how are you doing out there? Gentlemen? Keith! Yeah, I feel that the, the grant to the school is a good thing because people like my that's brother... That's not what I asked. The they're them talking focus. about the grant. As you can see, he's bound to this chair for most of his life, so the only thing left to do is to help him get a good education. What the hell is he doing? Let's just let him rant for a while. Okay. No, he's not stupid. He just has a... Little bit of a brain problem, you see. When he well, they, we are losing so much money right now, which means that one of his little nerves oh. inside there is missing. So therefore, I have to watch him 24/7. Did you make boom? Excuse me, gentlemen. Where are they taking his brother? Uh oh, what's happening? Ah, uh, sorry, gentlemen. Ah, Keith. Hi. My brother Daryl had to use the restroom for a minute. What is it? This is a fucked up family. Don't say that. Don't let them know that. A local woman was arrested today for selling crystal meth to homeless people. Old lady Carol K. Mazinski thought she was making apple pies for young school children, but little did she know she was supplying dangerous narcotics to old homeless people. She was selling crystal meth to homeless people. That's the same thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Please help me. I'm Carol K. Mazinski. Help me. Oh, God. Let's go. You have the right to remain silent. Carol K. Mazinski. And now we're going on to the new story. There's a new Walmart in town, and we're seeing what the local townspeople have to say about it. And now we go to call for an interview. So, what are your thoughts about the new Walmart going up? I think it's great. I love Walmart. Hey, you want a beer? No, I'm I'm all set, sir. You don't want a beer? You queer? I uh, know I'm I'm not queer. I'm not a homosexual. Okay, cause I don't but like queer. More, more thoughts on the Walmart going up. How do you feel? How do you think this is going to help the town's local economy? It's going to be great. You know how many women are going to be there looking at hardware? Oh, I can uh, are you a handyman of some sort? I love it. See, you see this wrench here? This chair's been a little loose lately. See, let me just, let me just, no, no, dang it, dang it, more drama tank. So, all in all, where where do you stand on the matter? Stand? Your cameraman looking at my leg? The, no, uh, Joe. I fought for your freedom, boy. I fought in Nam. You say I like beer? And moving on, now we go over there to the other part of our studio where we have a boy who seems to have trouble with gravity. Look at him go, everyone. <laughs> oh, 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 he fell oh, down. oh, did you see that? That was good. He fell down. Oh, okay. uh, someone oh. should call his parents. They really should. He's kind of annoying. Is your cat getting too fat? Our intern Tom is going to tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Bobby the intern. And I'm here to talk about, is your cat too fat? Is your cat getting too fat? Thank you, I've been Ken Brockman. And I've been Debbie. We'll Good see night. you next 